Hi, this is Mark Polich. Welcome to Studio 259 and another episode of Learning with TrackMan. Today we're going to cover our second part in a three-part series about why we lose distance on shots. You recall in the previous episode we talked about the penalty golfers realize by hitting off-center shots. Today we're going to talk about cause number two and that's trajectory. You'll see what happens to the carry distance when trajectory changes. So sit back and enjoy. Let's get started. So you can see here from our last episode, my standard eight iron swinging at 86 miles an hour carries about 162 yards, rolls out to about 166. Launch angle just over 20 degrees, height just over 100 feet, and spin just over 8,000 RPMs. So let's take a look at what happens to the carry distance when that launch angle height and spin rate changes. This club head speed almost identical, one mile an hour slower, but look what happened to the carry distance. Dropped from 162 to 144. In fact, that ball backed up. Look what happened to the launch angle. Went way up to 27. Height almost to 120 and the spin rate over 10,000. That ball, same swing speed, came up way short. To really get a handle on the why, we need to understand what TrackMan calls dynamic loft, the loft of the club face at impact. Not at address, but at impact. Let's take a look at these two shots. On the left is my original eight iron, 86 miles an hour, carried 162 yards, dynamic loft, 27.5 degrees. On the right is the shot I deliberately tried to add loft. Dynamic loft went all the way up to 37, ball launched higher, traveled a shorter distance. Possible reasons could be releasing the angle too soon, ball could be played too far forward, we could be scooping it, our spine angle could be back here. Many reasons. That's why you need a coach if you're going to address this issue. So, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you need help, come and see me at Mark Polich Golf. See you next time. Studio 259, Learning with TrackMan.